for Space Marine 2. I'm definitely been looking forward to this. Uh, they had an update every month or so. I believe we should be getting an update from them. I'm just waiting also to when they're going to be dropping a demo for the game. Oh, here, PC Gamer. I've, yeah, it was a PC Gamer article. Oh, yeah, Space Marine 2 public beta test is canceled so the developers can focus on optimization polish and fixing remaining issues. Um, cancel a pan public beta test for upcoming shooters, saying it wants to focus on preparing for the full launch. Registrations for Space Marine 2's beta first opened in August 2023, but that plan was derailed by extended delay that pushed the game from a winter 23 launch to sometime in second half of 2024. The December 2023 announcement of a new release date included another invitation to sign up for the test, which was meant to be playable in co-op mode. And for now, at least you can still sign up for the Focus Test Zone website. You just won't actually be able to play it. Um, let's see. Yeah, we are now entirely focused on optimization, polish, and fixing remaining issues ahead of launch on September 9th. This means we will not run a public beta, online beta as it would take the development team away for preparing for our, the full launch. And our priority is to ensure the best possible experience at release. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. This is just gonna be a gamble, like, when it comes to this. I, I hope it works, but if we do run and see issues, though, with either the servers or the gameplay and stuff itself, I would not be surprised. So just know that if you're gonna be spending money on this game, yeah. Especially for the people that, like, got the fancy edition, where I think like it's is it the deluxe and above or the, like the collectors you're able to play the, the game four days early before launch so we'll see yeah we'll see man but it says here uh greeting space marine your growing enthusiasm regarding space marine 2 has incredibly has us incredibly motivated last week discovered our detailed gameplay overview trailer a six minute in-depth look into the game modes it features creative director oliver who dissected the three different game modes campaign operations and eternal war in operations lasting approximately 12 hours for the campaign, you embody Lieutenant Titus right after the events of the first Optus. Titus fights alongside his battle brothers against the swarm of Tyranids in Chaos, and then in operations, you can either play with two mates or solo in endlessly replayable PvE action. To me, this is like basically horde mode uh, for operations, with six different maps to defend the Imperium, and then the Eternal War is is the PvP mode in which you go against uh, 6v6 matches in three different classic game modes. Annihilation, I'd imagine this is, oh, it explains here in a second. Yeah, Annihilation sees ground and capture and control. Annihilation is team deathmatch. Two teams compete against each other. Each takedown earns your team one point and the first team to reach 50 point wins the match. And then for seize ground is a domination mode. Oh, I'm not a fan of domination, y'all. I don't know about you guys, but personally, I'm, I'm definitely not a fan. Two team competes to control of one zone that's moving throughout the match. Keeping control of the zone grants your team points. Oh, well, this is different than your like Call of Duty domination where there's like three flags where there's A, B, and C. So this one, I'll, I'll be open to trying it out. I feel like this might be better. Although it's not quite domination. It's kind of like a uh, hard point. Hard point or like headquarters, if you're familiar with that from COD. The winner is that the team reaches the total amount of points given. And then capture and control is the king of the hill mode. There are three specific zones in the arena and each team fights to control them. Gaining and keeping control of a zone grants your team points. Be the first to obtain a certain amount of points to win the match. So yeah, nah, this game looks good y'all, but I'm definitely interested in picking it up. I just, my concern again is that I hope that the net code and everything is good for the multiplayer um, since all it's gonna be online basically Let's take a look at this trailer i already seen this but i wanted to watch it again with y'all on stream so welcome to space marine 2 the newest installment in the warhammer 40,000 franchise brought to you by saber interactive and focus entertainment i'm Let me know if you guys Slate, hear that. creative director on the project the audio today i'm good. going to take you on a tour of the game's story game modes progression and a whole lot more. Like Giving the game you a taste looks great, of what's to man. come when the game releases on September 9th. 
Like, I'm not mad. Like, how do you guys feel about the campaign being only, like, 12 hours long? I'm not mad at it. Like, for a co-op one, if you're trying to play with your buddies through this, it's not bad. story either solo or with up to three players in co-op. Space Marine 2 story begins a century said, after the a, events of the first game. A shooter, I feel. Yeah. Captain Dimitri and Titus is a genetically enhanced super soldier and hero I can't wait the when they show the customization, bro. Like, I, I love customization in the game. Decking out your space Titus marine. has returned to the Ultramarines. You're a lieutenant now. Where he is demoted to lieutenant. Will that be a problem? No captain. And I never to played the first one though, y'all. Uh, two. On a distant world, he must face one of humanity's most fearsome adversaries, the Tyranids. As you take like, control this definitely of Titus gives me, and like, um, battle brothers, what is it? Chiron, uh, Gadriel, Gears of War vibes too. I think it's just, you know, the over the top, like, shoulder shooting and Thanks to our unique combat. swarm technology, me, allowing us to render uh, hundreds of real of enemies on screen at the same time. Like, You'll look at this shit. <laughs> I hope it doesn't have optimization running, issues either, too. As as the With the amount see, of enemies on the screen, look at that shit. Invasion and rid the system of the Xenos That looks so crazy. Battling in the claustrophobic jungles of Kadaku, the majestic planet-spanning metropolis of Avarax, and other epic locations. After each successful mission, you'll return to the Battle Barge, a space fortress serving as the Ultramarine's orbital And this is like the hub. Here I feel like I can see, I wonder if they had like Helldivers influence personnel. with this, like the hub world. I wonder Review if it's anything like that. Or if it was like that since the first game. Mission. Like look at that shit, you can get a band hammer too? Whether you prefer close combat or ranged warfare, the Ultramarine's wide range of equipment offers you an array of devastating weapons and unique special abilities. A balanced approach is certainly wise, since performing a brutal melee finisher replenishes your armor. He said the long list of replay value is good. I need to make an Iron Man suit. The last two game games for 12 hours. Shred too. the enemies of humanity he with the iconic chainsaw. Said this is why I thought Kazama would look like in 2024. Them with the melter rifle. Oh really? The the or first one is on sale for 17. How is the review, uh, Shadow? How Shadow you vanquish the Tyranid invaders one. is entirely up to you. Yeah, this one is definitely your a day one cop, though. Is not yet done. Beyond the story okay, campaign, yeah. you'll Operations find Operations is the horde mode. mode. Which Here, to me, personally, I don't really necessarily care for this, but I'll play it. You know, if y'all want to hop on and play it, I'm down. Unique skills and abilities. But it's mainly and the eternal war. Yeah, look at this shit. Hold on, let me slow it down. Let me slow it down. They went way too fucking fast. Even look like, like the most replay, everyone's trying to slow this shit down. Here, let me use my video player real quick. Skills and abilities. Bro, look at this shit. It's so sick here. Let me mute it for now just because the audio sounds weird. But like, look at this, man. You can like deck out your freaking. I love shit like this. The different colors or whatever. So you, you know what I mean? Like all the customization. I love shit like that in games. Um, was it custom rules, helms, like your pattern, your backpack, like accessories, helm, pauldrons, breastplate, war gear, gauntlets, and greaves. Yeah, man. This, this looks like it's going to be fun to play. Uh, and all the customization options that they have, too. And they said that there's going to be no microtransactions in the game for the item. Like, you can... And all of this, I believe, from just playing. We need we need more games to follow suit like this instead of uh instead of trying to nickel and dime you for everything. You know what I mean? Broken long range capabilities. The Vanguard's grapnel launcher. And well, you've got a grapple watch, hook too. Banner and storm shield combination. Your like, space marine fire. Specialty, along with those of your squad mates, will be decisive on the battlefield. You said mostly the more missions Steam. you play, oh, the more yeah. you'll unlock cosmetics for your space suit. marine. Like, look at that! The customization you'll with the helms! You'll also learn XP and armory data that you can spend in the Battle Barge's armory to unlock new class perks and improve your armament's performance. Like, this looks sick, man. 
like the PvP. Demise. Like when you're tired of playing the campaign with your buddies or horde mode, you just go into PvP. This is what I part of the PL2 even more. Mode, where yeah. you'll be able to pit yourselves against other players. Six space marines clash against six of their sworn chaos adversaries in arenas inspired by the game's rich settings. Choose your preferred rule set, be it the intense Annihilation Deathmatch, Strategic Seize Ground, or the exhilarating Capture and Control. Then engage play in adrenaline pumping matches that will test your skills against players from across the world. I can imagine, I was so goofy this when we watched it, like just a freaking imagine like one of your teammates is the distraction and then y'all got two people pulling up behind them, fucking backshot them with a the freaking melee, the chainsaw gun. We can't wait for you to experience the passion and care that our teams have Like you got baited, bitch. We've got more surprises in store for you to be revealed very soon. We need the beta, that's what I'm waiting for, man. There, there should be a beta coming soon. In this name, I will fight. That's what we need at this point Fire before the game up. launches. Hands on. Pre-order yeah, the okay, standard, it is September 9th. gold or ultra editions, and defend humanity on September 9th when Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine 2 launches on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series, and PC. I can't wait. Yeah, and then. I think this is just like screenshots of everything too, uh, from the video. So, uh, yeah, I like all the customization that you can have. And then what? Okay, so assault, vanguard, bulwark, sniper. Are those the four? I thought there were six classes. Are those the four ones that you can have? This makes me think of what is it? Um. The helmet makes me think of like Mortal Kombat with like the Scorpion Sub Zero. I don't know. This one looks cool though too. If we can change the color on that, yeah. I'm gonna make it like um spawn. But I find it funny that you got the freaking. It's like you got a four pack on the on the Space Marine, and then for weapons, yeah. I wonder how many th is there. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven seven different weapons maybe there's more as you play and then maybe these are just like um different variants or whatever here at the bottom or as you level it up then yeah it looks like we're gonna have to grind weapons out basically to get the better versions of them um oh perk trees too oh did they show that in the other screenshot yeah yeah okay and they also got perks, but we don't see what that looks like at all for it. Nice. But yeah, I'm I'm definitely this to me, this is definitely a day one cop for sure for this game. I don't know about y'all. I'm I'm definitely we just need that demo, like I said. We need this demo to drop for this. The, the last video I got queued up was the Warhammer. We got a behind the scenes for Space Marines too. I'm definitely looking forward to this game. I just hope it's good. Y'all already, I, I know I said this before, Space it's Marine nothing new. Third -person but man, I hope they get the freaking, the net code and everything right for the multiplayer. Because the ain't nothing like... Like, joining up to play with your homies, and we're teleporting around everywhere. Or, and we're playing PvP, you know, it's like a X-Defiant situation. <laughs> or Payday 3, yeah, where, where you can't even get past the freaking menu, or like, actually get into a fucking lobby. It's probably better now, but that shit was fucking broken at launch, man. That shit was not it. We wanted to play it. Did we ever did? Nope. said none yeah you're right in the thick of the action and hopefully people never have experienced that kind of aspect of, of the warhammer world when we feel that it is the combination of all the things that we work so hard this game for so many years good to come to life. we wanted action in the sky no me i love me some we pvp flames, too, besides we wanted explosions PvP. it is a passion piece for all of the people working at saber 
Unfortunately, when I started to... working on the story, I spent months reading Black Library novels like No No Fear to really get my head inside these these characters, the, you know, to understand the Ultramarines and who they are. So the Space Marines were created for that great crusade. They were a necessary really. component in a war for galactic unity. And the Ultramarines are one of the most iconic and famous of those Space Marine forces that have endured through the 10,000 years from their creation at the Great Crusade. The attention to the detail on them was millennium. great, man. I love that shit. They're fucking most human armor, beings in this world will weapons, never see a space their guns. They're, they're the stuff of legends. They're known as the angels of death. And so when one appears on the battlefield, it, it's like seeing an angel of God. It's like, it's wow. angels. So Titus is a lieutenant in our game. My pledge is eternal service. He's sort of a relic of a, a time once past. You know, this guy is an unstoppable force, but you've also got to find some kind of grit and hardness that shows that he's been there, done that, seen more than all the other Ultramarines. Look at the carnage. Unit with. So we did the best we could in motion capture. But it is very different when you get to see these amazing graphics on the screen and what hundreds and hundreds of people that work for Saber Interactive come up with and create. It's incredible. Lieutenant Titus, Ultramarines, Second Company. For me to go right back to the bare basics of what acting is about and just be in an empty space. But on the day, it's about creating it and giving it a base of reality. Lieutenant Titus, praise the Omnisire. Shut it down. Now. It's your journey, you're the player, you're with Titus and, and the Ultramarines. If you can't connect to their faces when the helmets are off and you can't read those emotions, then there's something lacking. And that's my job is to try and bring these guys to life. I think as the player is going to see a very, very different Titus. The campaign is short too. If we rupture the staging tanks, direct the flow into the valley. We can flood the area around the base. It's like only 12 right from hours the very beginning, or so. We didn't just want to create uh, any third-person shooter. We wanted to create a game that embodied the galactic warfare that you, you come to know uh, from this, this franchise. Sad there is no beta. Yeah, I agree. So that can work on optimizing the game So the technology that drives Sad. Space Marine 2 is our own technology. So the team's gotten very, very good at creating signature moments in this game. And the signature moment is the swarm. We have a swarm technology that allows us to have hundreds of these tyrannids attacking the player. And we're also able to build well, a short huge compared to like, you know, all the games we have been getting that are like 50 plus hours, you know what I mean? I'm see, cool with a 12 hour this, campaign. You can see that swarm coming at you. You can see the enemy waves coming at you. And you will get down. Yeah, that's the same thing I said way. to you, Oscar. Yeah, that does make me you a bit like weary. Have, the fact that like they're not, they're just universe like, in front of you. we don't you know, know until day one until you play it to see how it runs, basically. So I hope it's good. I hope it works out. Wherever you look, Look, there is another company of marines down there fighting off swarms of Tyranids. And you've got up there, we've got ships you know, delivering and launching and drop ships landing. Everything's around you. One of the things people love about this, this I hope we uh, get some boss fights and shit, though. You customize your character. You know, you take these little miniatures, you pose them the way you want, you give them the weapons that you want, you paint them the way you want. We wanted to take that same approach and put it in the game so you can do the yeah, same thing Yeah, the customization thing looks dope. The game offers three modes. A co-op story campaign that you can play with your friends, a highly replayable PvE mode with lots of progression and customization, and a PvP mode that puts you against other players. The more you play these PvE missions, the deeper you can go into the progression of these characters, unlocking skills and perks and weapons. So it's um, like basically, that, it's kind of like Call of Duty in that director sense. Is it pays off, like, the challenge you find a weapon a you like and you want to unlock the attachments and stuff, the more you, it is, you gotta use it. As you've seen with some of our other titles, we have a track record of supporting our titles through quality of life updates, through paid DLC, and larger add-ons. So with Space Marine 2, because the universe is so rich and there's so much to draw from, we're really excited about you know, what story we can tell and what things that we can continue to do in this game. The truth is that we've been kind of circling like sharks around Games Workshop for a long time, trying to get hold of this game. We believe at Sabre that we have the, the story, the gunplay, the technology, the experience, and the passion the big to boss. deliver what fans want. 
So I'm scared, but I'm excited. Our you team is, you know, they love to working this game. It's, no it's one of their favorite games that they've ever worked where you getting the data so from. You asked me, what, me or who you asked me? I seen it in a tweet. Um, I think like the, the, the Saber like Interactive account or like the Warhammer did. Everybody involved with really, really excited to see that. Uh, no matter that what they the said fans there wasn't going to be for, um, me, a beta for, for the game. More. To work on optimization for it. But yeah, I don't know. I hope it's good, man.